Today we're going to be going over the full route tree for wide receivers. So throughout this video, you guys are going to be going over all of the routes on the route tree, zero through nine, from a hitch all the way to a fade. We're going to talk about the exact steps and how you guys should exactly get into the break and the different types of breaks for each route. So we're going to be starting with a hitch route. So a hitch route can be ran two separate ways. So let's say it's a five yard hitch. The more common way to run this hitch would be off of your second inside step, which will take you to about five yards. So set go, we come off. I am not counting this step. That's my first inside. Then on the second inside, we are going to throttle down. They call that a trigger step, which is essentially where you are going to be dropping your hips, trying to bring your chest to your quad. You are going to drop, pop the outside foot and sit right there, expecting the ball from the quarterback. Now, the second way that you could run this would be off of your third step or your second outside step. And this is a three step break at the top. So set, go, we come off the ball. It's one, two, snap. This is the trigger step. Pivot on the second step, hook the third step around. So there's two ways to run this hitch route. I'm gonna show you how the first one is going to look full speed. <laughs> the next route on the route tree that we're gonna be going over is a two-step out route or off of your first inside step. And this out route is going to be a speed cut out route. Now, before we get into this route, you guys, we are gonna be coming out to 15 different cities this year for two day long QB and wide receiver camp. So check out that very first link in the description below. If you'd like to train with us this off season, fellas, we're coming out to San Francisco, California, Miami, Florida, Las Vegas, Nevada, Charlotte, North Carolina, Portland, Oregon, Dallas, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, Chicago, Illinois, Buffalo, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, Texas, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Detroit, Michigan, Boise, Idaho, and finishing it off in Los Angeles, California. So if you guys would like to train with us, fellas, want to get some work in, check out that very first link in the description below. Let's get back to this out route. Now, like we said, this out route is going to be a speed cut out route off of your second step. So what is a speed cut? A speed cut is where you're not necessarily breaking down like we did on the hitch route. It's not necessarily a hard cut. It's more of like a rounded cut. This route, I would say, you're probably going to be breaking it around two to three yards and rounding up to five yards. But you're getting out of this thing with some speed because that's when the quarterback or how the quarterback expects us to get out of the break. So again, you're going to be coming up here. It's off of your second step. So set go. It's one, two on a speed cut. You want to make sure that you are slightly pivoting the cut leg. Okay. Because if you guys are straight up and down, your next step is going to be hard to take you out of the break. So we want to make sure that we are pivoting the cut leg, flipping my hips out, accelerating with my arms and having that speed cut up to five yards. I'm going to show you how this is going to look full speed. <laughs> The next route on the route tree we're going to be going over is a two route, which is a three step slant. So all this is, you're going to come off the ball here, set, go. It's one, two, three, hard plant. And this is kind of more of like an indicator cut. It's not a speed cut because this is a sharp 45 degree angle cut. So off of that third step, you want to make sure that your hips and your shoulders and your head are committed vertical until you hit this third step. A lot of wide receivers think that this is a very simple route and they get very lazy on this route. So what they'll do is they'll come off the ball, set, go, and they'll go one, one, two, three, and they round it. On every single route, whether it's a hitch, a slant, a 15 yard comeback, you have to make that defender think that you are running deep and your pad level plays a big part in that. So your hips, your shoulders, everything needs to be committed vertical till you hit that third step. I'm gonna show you how this is gonna look full speed. Now the next route on the route tree is going to be a three route, AKA a comeback route. So this comeback route is going to be ran off of your fourth inside step, which should take you to about 12 yards and it'll be 12 back to 10. So let's say I'm lined up here, quarterbacks to my left. My inside foot is obviously going to be my left foot. So my first step, I am not counting. That's one, that's two, that's three, then on the fourth inside, that is going to be my trigger step, very similar to the hitch route that we ran. Now, the minimum amount of steps I would say that you could get out of a comeback in is three because you snap on the trigger step. Now, your second step is going to be a pivot step. Then you're going to hook back around with your third step and drive back out. Now, obviously, if you take maybe five steps on the comeback, that is totally fine, especially if you are a beginner, but the goal is to shoot for three steps in and out of this break. Now, remember, all the way until that fourth inside, I should be forward, we got that step rhythm in my head and we are selling vertical. Long strides, good speed, good body language until we hit the fourth inside. I'm gonna show you how this is going to look, full speed. <laughs> 
The next route on the route tree that we're going to be going over is a curl route, which is obviously the opposite of a comeback, a four route. So all you're going to be doing this route is going to be off of your fourth outside step. It is pretty much the exact same mechanics and the exact same technique as the comeback route. You're just going towards the quarterback. So let's say my quarterback is over here. Left foot is my inside foot. Right foot is my outside foot. I'm only counting the steps I take with my outside foot on this one. So it's off of my fourth outside step. So set, go, I come off. That's one, not counting that one. Two, three, on the fourth, we are snapping down. We are focused on being violent with my hips. I'm trying to slam my chin to my knee as quickly as possible to decelerate so my second step can pivot, third step can hook, and I could drive back to the quarterback. That fourth outside step should take you to about 10 yards, so if it's a 10 to 8 yard curl, that is how you want to run this thing. Obviously, the depths may vary depending on the playbook you are in, but that is generally what that four route should look like. I'm going to show you how this is going to look full speed. <laughs> Next route on the route tree is going to be a five route, which is a 10 yard speed out route. So this speed out is very, very similar to the two route or the one route that we went over where it is a two step five yard out. Now it's just a little bit deeper and you're going to be breaking off of your third inside step. So now this is the same type of speed cut that we were using on that five yard out or that quick flat. So remember, it's my third inside step. Quarterback is to my left. I'm only counting steps with my left leg. So set go, I come off. That's one, that's two, then on the third, I am giving that slight pivot with my inside foot. It's not a hard cut. I am not dropping my hips. I am pivoting. I am ripping my arms out at eight yards and I am rounding up to 10. But as soon as I get to 10, I have to make sure I get flat. It is a rounded speed cut, not a drifted speed cut. A lot of guys will cut, they'll turn and then they drift up field and then they're drifting away from the quarterback. We have to make sure that we get across at that 90 degree angle when we we're at 10 yards because that, that is when he's expecting us to break. So I'm going to show you how this route's going to look full speed. <laughs> this next route on the route tree is going to be something called a six route. So a six route is essentially a dig. Now there are a few different ways that you could run this dig route. Some people refer to it as like an in route, 10 yard in, whatever you may call it, but it's where we're going up about 10 to 12 yards and breaking in. Now the break point and the step that you break off might be a little bit different. So we're going to be going over this a few different ways. So let's say my dig route is going to be off of my third inside step. Set go, I come off first inside, second inside, on the third inside on a dig, if you were running something called a basic, a basic is essentially where you were getting up to 10 and trying to cut straight across. There is no round, there's no extra steps, it's not a speed cut. You're going to drop on the third inside and ideally what you would like to do is take a second step, plant off the second step, and then drive over the middle of this thing. Now, if you take four steps, I'm not necessarily upset with that if you're on the younger side of things, but the goal is two steps. Now, there might be a dig where you break off of your fourth outside step. So you come off, set, go, one, two, three, hit the fourth outside, we snap down, pivot, hook, and drive out. That would be the same thing as a basic. Now, there's another dig that's a little bit deeper called a post dig, right? And this is something that you may have in your playbook, and that's why I wanna go over this thing. So let's say, for example, this post dig break is going to be off of like your third outside, you break to the post, and we're gonna to get to a post later in this video. Let's say it's off my third outside, but we want you to flatten out. So set go, it's one, two, three, I break to the post, one, two, then I flatten back out. So it's almost like a post dig. You'll run that commonly on a dagger concept, which is where the slot receiver will run a seam, outside receiver will run a dig, and usually it's a 12 to 15 yard post dig. So we're gonna show you how the basic is going to look full speed off of your third inside step. <laughs> This next route on the route tree that we are gonna be going over is a seven route, which is a corner route. So this corner route is going to be ran off of the exact same step as the five route. Your third inside step, but obviously on a corner, you are gonna be breaking towards the corner of the end zone. That's why they call it this. Some people may call this a flag route, like you're going for the black back flag of the end zone, like that pylon, if you will. But it's gonna be off of your third inside step. So set go, we come out, one, second inside, third inside we cut, and then we are taking off. This is not a speed cut, by the way. This is more of an indicator, hard stick, if you will, and you are cutting at this 45 degree angle, snapping your head over your inside shoulder. Now, a couple things on this route. If it is man-to-man -man coverage, you work a press release, you break on this thing. Obviously, we're not going off of steps when it's man-to-man. -man. It's more about a landmark, but that's another story. But let's say you break at that third inside step, man-to-man -man coverage guy right here, you don't want to look back right away. You want to keep your head down and separate, then find the ball. Now, if it's zone coverage 
and there's a safety off over the top of you and you break off of that third inside step, you want to snap your head around, stay on that 45 degree angle, but most likely the quarterback is going to throw it like an out route and bring you back downhill to the catch to protect you from that safety. So you just have to be aware of that and you have to be aware of the coverage. But generally, again, zone will be off of my third inside step. I'm going to show you how this is going to look full speed. Ooh. Ooh. The next route on the route tree we're gonna be going over is an eight route, which is a post route. Now, there's a couple different ways you could run this post route. You could run a deep post route, where maybe you're trying to take the top off the defense, quarterback is putting this with some air, or more commonly, you could run something called a bang eight post route, which is essentially a quick post where the quarterback is throwing it right off the break. Now, this bang eight post is a quick post. We don't have any time to do any type of move at the top of the break. We have to get out of this thing quick, and it's going to be on your third outside step. So set go. We come off the ball, remember, do not get lazy on this break and start to turn before we cut because when we start to turn, that no longer sells vertical. So on my third outside, set go, one, two, three hard cuts, snapping my head around quickly, expecting the ball right there. I'm gonna show you how this route's gonna look, full speed. <laughs> The next route on the route tree that we're going to be going over, and I'm sure you all have heard of this route, I'm sure you all have ran this route, it is called a nine route, which is essentially a fade route, a streak route, a go route, however you want to talk about it. Now, this nine route, a lot of you might be thinking like, why is there any coaching points on this? We just run straight, right? But there are going to be situations, usually on a deep route, especially if it's against man-to-man -man coverage, where you have a press man coverage guy inside shade. So you want to know how to run this fade versus a press man DB who's inside shade, which is essentially this orange cone. So you got a guy who's inside shade. He's inside leverage from you, inside shade from you for a reason. He is there to prevent the inside route and he wants to force you to his help. His help is the sideline. So if you take off on the ball and he gets into your hip and forces you to this sideline, then we're screwed guys because the quarterback does not have room to fade us out, hence the name fade route or a streak route. So what we got to do is we have to attack his leverage. Now that varies based on how close or how far he is, but if he's maybe about a yard away, something quick like a crossover, a quick jab inside to get him to hold that leverage so we could go right by his hip, they call that getting skinny, and give the quarterback room to fade us over the shoulder and fade us out. So I'm going to show you how that's going to look, full speed. 